and a quick reminder of where we're at on the planet. Now, if we got rambunctious and turned this one on, that would be the perfect time for raiders to land because they would have all these colonists, these specialists out there running around and they could shoot them all down. But they'll probably wait until they get back into here before they start shooting them. Because you'll notice that the raiders will go back and forth a couple of times before they go this way. All right, so that it just picked up everything. We just bought ourselves another, and of course they kill off one. By one, they kill one, it seems like. Very aggravating. We got stuff still set out here. See how they uh, prefer that the carrier bots do all the fetching and uh, moving stuff back and forth? So that'll be our primary landing spot for now. Now, if we take our view off of this landing strip, we have to listen for clues, either to our headphones of a ship landing, or we have to get a warning that raiders are attacking or a trade ship has landed. So I wanted to take a look here. Oh, I just, I hear another ship coming in. All right, we're already down to speed one. And what do we got here? Got a worker and a guard. Oh. Well, yeah, that, there's a discrepancy, so it does make sense we'd get more guards in. With this, we're saying that we've got too many biologists, so don't send us any more. We are asking for more engineers. We're satisfied with how many medics we have, and we're asking for more guards also. But are they armed? Yeah, we're up to 11 and they're all armed. And that's why we've only got four guns in storage. Remember, this number needs to be slightly higher than this one to keep up with food demand. And we look here, we look up here, that's close. But we could use some more meal production. So let's get back over here and let's put in a couple more. And then that's it. That's all it allowed me to put in there. He's sleepy. And the closest dormitory is, I guess, there. So we probably should be thinking about another dormitory. Yeah, a traitor this time. Now, if you're having trouble hearing the ships coming in, you might want to go ahead and turn up your special effects a bit more. Now, that's what we need. What's his commission? 45? It's not the lowest, but it is pretty low. And we've got to keep buying these whenever we can. So, can we make it? He's almost out of, so we better start doing the more expensive stuff. See, these have the same value. Oh, I'm a little bit behind on those. I think I can afford to do a gun. I still need another gun worth, don't I? Yeah. Well, let's see, we could take a gun back. We probably do it this way. Yeah, see that matches up. So let's go that way with it. Go ahead and cancel that now. We've already got these still on. We speed up. And we've got a little bit more than one of our 
all of our carrier bots can handle, so they're going to be some of our specialists are going to come out here too. But see how much faster the carrier bots are? That's why, and notice that you get they're unhappy about doing this. They're basically complaining we don't have enough carrier bots yet. Now we have ourselves a constructor bot. He, huh, he didn't pick this up. Most of the time, I believe in the past, they did. Well, we've got a carrier bot already designated. All right, so how are we doing here? We've got uh, 70 and 71 mils. These numbers are staying high. In fact, we're making more of this than we need to since it's basically a two-for-one deal. We've already put in the other two meal makers right there. Uh, oh, they're not happy. That's telling me they want me to put in some plants. So we'll put in a couple of plants. There's one, there's two, three. I just heard another ship came in. No, no ship. Game's messing with my hearing, which ain't the best in the world. Well, we'll see how we can do with those three plants. That might be enough for quite a while. In the meantime, I'll slow it down a little bit and we'll go around and look for unhappy faces. Could get some more plants in here too. So let's do that. Find a spot where oh, there's one. There's another. And another. Let's go with that. So we've actually got more of this going on than we actually need to. We are getting some flags. See there? Suggesting we need more biologists. I guess we could put some more plants in here too. Maybe we won't suffer with so many unhappy faces. Alright, that should be enough I would think. Once those get put in. And we are using up our bioplastic kind of fast. But we need one of these. Can we squeeze in another one? Oh yeah, we can right there. Can I make it bigger? Oh, even better. Alright, let's definitely get that installed. And that's going to take four and four. I think we can manage that. Now, out of habit, especially when I think they're going to pester the snot out of us with the uh, raiders, is I turn this off before I go looking over here for ways to improve our situation. Well, that's the bigger one, so I'll be able to get more of this in here. Quick, quick, quick. All right, what's it say? Medic, guard, guard, and worker. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this back on now. That's not normally how they come in. But if they're not being identified as problems, and they've got a specialist title, so we shouldn't be having any problems. Let's go ahead and speed back up. All right, so I'm going to not take a risk. Go turn that off too. And let's get this ready to go. So we need uh, a couple of these. 
Let's see, we can actually get four of them in, but we'll go with that for now. We'll get a couple of these in. There we go. Sandstorm. All right, let's go ahead. The two and then the three key. And then we'll speed things up. See, he's got that little security camera. So if anybody gets in there and it's bad news, they'll be detected. And we had just about everything they needed, so that was instant. Now, these are always going to default to make a carrier box. But, of course, the thing is, we've got more utility. So they could come in here and do whatever they need to do. And the idea is to try to get our boss to last a little longer. Because we really don't have that many. All right, the sandstorm was over. We're up to 11. We just bought that one. Okay, so let's go ahead and make that five. And, uh, yeah, that'll get us by for now. All right, medical supplies are up to 28. So let's go ahead and bring that up to 30. Spare parts, only 17. Well, I'm going to leave it at 20 for now. I think we can do okay with that. Guns. We've got four. We're asking for ten. Semiconductors. We're always going to have problems with semiconductors. Seems like since it takes, you know, all the metal and uh, bioplastic, the engineers will process. But we're also asking this number to be higher. So, and we've only got the one, and we haven't done anything with it yet. Super Extractor. Now, if I did put one in right here... If it'll let me... No, it's not going to let me put it there. Can't get too far away. That's one of those items that could go kaput on me. But mostly from meteorite strikes. So let's put one right there since we can get right back. Um, I don't know if I've said enough about this, but the reason why I'm making all these extra connections is in case one of them gets busted. If you have a serial connection, like this is the only connection you got for all this stuff, well, it cuts out everything. And there is a risk that a meteorite strike could take out that one connection if that was the only one we have. But as you can see, I always put in extra connections. In fact, I'm surprised I didn't put that one in. And I didn't put this one in either. Oh, it won't let me make one. But we've got parallel connections. You want to think about this like you do electronics. If you have a serial connection back to the base facilities, that means you've only got one connection to one of the base facilities. But as you can see, we've got parallel. We've got three. Two is all you need to have a parallel connection. And we have a little triangle going here, a little square going there. So if any one of these lines goes out by a meteorite strike, it won't matter to us. Now I'm gonna take this one out, so. Now that we've got this one in there. I don't think they're gonna let me put another one of these big ones right there. That would be kind of rare. We could try it, but they don't seem to like that. See that, oh, they will. I have just enough space. That's kind of rare. Now that's the final because it's as big as it goes. It's, uh, as you saw, it's part of the text. So we won't be able to get anything bigger. So those are permanent, which means once this is finished and they get all the connections and stuff, we could now go ahead and take this one down. Since we've got parallel connections, it will let us take it out. There you go. Now what we don't have down here, well, we do have one. Water tank or water tower. That'll get us by for now, because we've also got one down here. 
and that'll give us back some more metal. We should now have a nice little cushion. 14 versus 24. Yeah, we've got a nice little water cushion, so we don't have to worry too much about, you know, this sort of thing. All right, now we're starting to show a little slack here because we want this number to be whatever we need here. We want that number to keep up with how many people we have. See there? That's like I've mentioned before, that's your link. That's the thing that you do in order to prevent problems. So we'll put a tomato in, we'll put an onion in, uh, we'll put radishes in, and we'll even put mushrooms in. But we don't want to press it too much. Because see, we're just we're just blowing through this. Alright, now we need to change our focus back to getting some more people in. Now we've already got this on times four. And I'm going to tear this off. Uh-oh. Slow it down. All right. Zoom in. Oh, they've got the nasty patch. The purple patch. But I guess all visitors do. So. It doesn't look like they're carrying guns. So they're not giving us all that much of a clue, are they? So let's go ahead and uh, turn that off because we did not activate visitors yet, have we? Oops. No, so they're bad guys. They're bad guys for, we have not authorized visitors. So we know for a fact that they're bad guys. Yep, that's a pretty obvious sign that they're bad guys. So those would be raiders. So we need to turn this off before any of them get in. And now they're gonna go for this one over here. So we'll turn this one off as soon as they get to it. See how one of them separates off? They did that the, a couple of times before too. Now they're staying together. So let's sound the alarm, get our people back in. And turn that off before anybody gets in. That's telling our people. I'm going to have to ignore that trade ship for now. To Now let's go red. That way we shouldn't have anybody outside. Then we'll turn this one off. So now the programming tells them to go all the way up here. All right, that's the last person. Okay. We shouldn't have anybody in them. Oh, they're still in the mine. They're ignoring the warning. Well, that's not good. That means some of our people are gonna get caught out of here too. Now what are they gonna do? Still got quite a bit of oxygen. Oh, they're heading up to this one. So I'm going to go ahead and turn these back on. And then I got to beat it back up here. And when they get close, I need to turn this off. others are already off. Well, I'll go ahead and turn that one on. They still haven't run out of oxygen yet. But notice that the... See, that's one of our guys. The blue patch, that's a worker. But the purple patch is one of the raiders. But I can't take a risk of the raiders getting there and killing people, so...
There we go, he's going inside there. We got one of our people out of danger. Uh, we still got one caught back here. Will my guy be smart enough to turn around and go into the airlock? No, he's stuck. And of course, the, well, I'll go ahead and leave that on. And of course, the trader got tired of waiting, so he got took off. See, they got this guy, one of my workers, tucked in there real tight. But he's not hurting for oxygen yet. He hasn't been going without a refill of oxygen as long as the Raiders have. Now they're getting low. But they're going for this one here. So I'm going to have to turn that off. When they get close enough. There we go. Uh-oh, my worker is starting to show. Well, what can I say? He messed up. He should have reacted before. Oh, he's just sleepy. He's not running out of oxygen, I guess. No, he's still doing okay on oxygen. But he is getting sleepy. So now where are they going? I'm gonna go ahead and turn this one back on. I'll reduce the... Oops, they're all going back there. Yeah, I can't take a risk. They might kill too many people. This one is still off back here. I guess I'll have to wait until they get over here somewhere before I turn this back on. So now they're going to go all the way back up here because I've got this one on. I probably should go ahead and just turn this off so we don't get any more visitors. Now he's getting hungry. Well, these guys are getting low on oxygen. So this might be their last... Yep, that's their last back and forth. Alright, good deal, good deal. Alright, and our... our stranded worker... Go ahead, speed up. He should make it over here, no problem. Geez, where's it going? Let's go ahead and cancel the alarm. But anyway, we have not authorized visitors, so that was a giveaway. We knew that they would be bad guys. Now, if I had have authorized visitors, then it would have been a little less obvious. And right now, we're only up to 13. Well, that is a pretty good number. All right, so that's a trade ship. Uh, ooh, that would be nice. Driller bot. Oh yeah, I definitely want a driller bot. But man, I've got like no coins at all. Constructor bot costs just as much. This costs even more. Well, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna try for it. Ooh, 50% commission. Since we didn't kill anybody. All right. Uh, no, I can't do another one. I used up way too much of my medical supplies. There we go. That's a good trade for us. Now we'll turn this back on. Turn this one back on. And we're still running full speed. Yep, still running full speed. Now I need to go around and make sure I turn these all back on. It's kind of a nuisance to have to do this 
See, I would be thinking that, though, if you were hitting the number three key to turn your alarm red, that they would automatically close down all of their airlocks. But they don't. That's what makes it extra risky. They picked up everything, so we don't have to worry about that. But we finally got ourselves a driller bot. And, uh oh. I got a feeling we got. No, these are good people, so we'll go ahead and. Oh. I can't turn it back on even if I wanted to. Yeah, we got three engineers? Wow, that's unusual to get three engineers in. But let's keep an eye on them. Oh, four. Let's make sure they're not bad guys. That would be a trick I hadn't seen them pull on me yet. And he goes right to work. So he's definitely a good guy. And... Not yet. I, I can't... Turn it back on just yet. Well, actually, you know what? I think I better leave it off. So now our population is up to 79. And, well, we're still staying in the comfort zone, except these numbers, especially that one, it's not as high as I need it to be. So I'll tell you what, let's turn this off so they can't sneak anybody in on me. Oh, darn, I can't do anything just yet. We've got too many flags saying we don't have enough biologists. All right, speed it up. Well, that one's doing okay. They're doing okay here. But they have to travel a pretty good distance to get over here. So biologists are still in high demand. All right, let's see, what do we got going here? We're asked, oh, they're still not, oh, I see, we didn't ask for enough. So let's bring that number up. We'll leave that one alone for now. We'll leave that one alone and we'll leave that one alone. We're only up to 13. I think they're all armed, yeah, they're all armed. Oh, as far as the game is concerning, we're doing excellent. So we will get more people in. Oh, got to put out the warning. And we'll go red on that. I'm hoping that'll get these people out of these mines. They're kind of lining up. They're backing up there, aren't they? I think I could get another airlock in there, though. See, we're full... No, we're not. I have to remember, every time a sandstorm's up, it's going to knock the speed back down to one. Automatically. The same thing happens when you get a warning that a raider's got inside. It knocks it down to speed one again. All right. But if you don't want to wait extra three or four minutes, you gotta go ahead and speed back up. That way the sandstorm doesn't seem to last quite as long. I got a feeling we're gonna end up rebuilding some of this, pushing it out here somewhere. Because we need, uh, well, I don't know. I might be able to squeeze a dorm right in here. Yep, I can put a dorm right there. Food production's looking real good. This is creeping up a little bit. Uh oh. Oh, I thought I heard something. Guess not. Found a request that I continue this earlier game by the G1A. So I'm going to go ahead and add this episode. And if uh, I keep getting requests to continue, I will. I've got, oh, what is it? About four 
to six more hours of recording already available to be edited for this particular base. So let me know if you want me to continue this particular or you want to jump to one of the more recent ones on the planet overwhelming. Be well.